Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Josh Ablon, and welcome back to Amnesia Rebirth. So, if you remember, in the last episode, we made it through the room with sleeping monsters. We uh, just kept running and running and running. We ran a very small marathon, and then we got to the portal, activated it, but the shadow changed the location. So now we're in the other dimension. It doesn't seem like there's a way out anywhere close by. My hands... My arms look absolutely terrible, and I believe we're just about to leave my beautiful safe zone behind. So, yeah, we get to go into this room. We're going from a nice kind of whitish blue tinge to a black and red tinge, which is always what I love to see. I think. Okay, down we go. Ah! Oh, damn it! Thank you for that, I'm Tassie. I'm so sorry, my love. I should have known you were in. Yeah, you probably should have. Oh, hello, sir. Are you the sir that was in those cage things? I'm going to assume so. There's a little thing here. Interesting. That opened a lot more suddenly than I thought it would. I don't like it. Okay. So we got 6 out of 10 in my lantern, 9 out of 10 in my lantern, with a large oil and 8 matches. I'm doing incredibly well now. It's probably not incredibly well compared to other people, but heck, it's better than I've been doing for quite some time. Oh, look, more matches. I'm full on matches. Wonderful. I don't think I've ever been doing so well in terms of light sources, but what the heck? Okay. Moving forward, this terrible place. Oh. One of the big things that I'm worried about is that I don't know what's in this dimension. Like in the other dimension, there are ghouls and everything. But in this dimension, I have no clue what there is. I haven't seen anything. So that something's going to move past randomly? Maybe. No. Oh, just phase through my body, why don't you? Where are the tentacle things on the side? Do those not come in this dimension? Or is it just because I've freaked out so many times in this game that the game is just deciding... You know what? This person's died way more than in our practice testing, so we're just gonna give it easy on them. We're gonna go easy. Frick. I'll find a way to make you well. I swear. Baby, you have jump scared me more in this game than any monster. Like, literally... Oh, more matches. I can't use any. Great. Should probably use a couple. Yeah, you know what? Let's use a match. We'll light a few of these torches. Is it going to kill us? Probably. Oh, never mind. It's not going to give us anything. It's just a dead end. Go out, match. Hi, thank you. Hmm. I guess I'll just take the matches now... It's probably not my best decision in the world. Let's go check this other way. Nothing bad, please. Oh gosh. What was that? I don't like the look of that. I don't like the look of any of this, but heck, we got a big lantern. Okay, so we are completely full on lantern oil, which is phenomenal to hear. But I don't like the looks of that. I'm probably going to get there and then a monster is going to jump out and tear my face off and eat it. I hope that I at least taste good, but honestly I have no clue. Do 
humans taste like chicken? Or pork? Something. Matches, bones, murder. Nope, you really don't want to know what I'm stepping on. I'm stepping on random human remains. Why are there human remains? Or maybe they're not human remains, they're just remains. That's going to activate and start chasing me, isn't it? Frick. Good question. What was that thing, though? I don't think I want to find out. Hello. Aw. You're my best friend. Okay. Yeah, frick. Don't go freaking out on me like that, please. Tasi. I don't like that. I can go this way, which means there's probably something down here. Ah, uh, and yes, there is. Wonderful. Another oil. We're looking really good on oil. Holy crap. Completely full on oil. Completely full on matches. And with an entire extra thing of oil. Oh gosh, this is gonna be very bad. I don't want to go in there, though. F in the chat. Oof. Uh, this doesn't look good. Yeah, this doesn't look good at all. Where... Am I supposed to be going? I don't know if I'm supposed to be going this way. Yeah, I'm gonna go back for a little bit. This is really weird. What does this do? Nothing so far. Okay. It looks like another puzzle area then. I saw one of these things like going across the sky. Some kind of a like tram system, I suppose. This place is some sort of station, I think. That is pretty well what I just said, Tassie. Thanks for stealing my thunder. I appreciate it. Okay, what do we got? Nothing. It's my favorite thing to have when in Jeopardy in another world. I love having nothing. It's my favorite thing. Yeah, I really should light a few of these. Oh, come. You're blowing out already? Ugh, I didn't get the chance to light anything. Dang it. I guess that's what happens when I run in. Heh. Why am I stuck? Tassie. You jerk. One match per torch. That is a all-new low for me. What, does that mean that I can only light eight more torches in this whole place, and then I'm out? Because if so, that sucks. Okay. I mean, we're still doing fine. Right, we're, we're fine, we're fine. Now we have to go down this long, dark hallway. Look, those bright places. I think they're more lifts back to our world. Can we get to one of them? Yeah, it looks like it. Believe it or not, Tassie, but it seems that you're actually decent at telling what's what. Probably just for narrative purposes.
What? Why are you giving me spooky, scary sounds? Jeez, I can't see a thing. Ah. Oh. I just don't want to use all of this stuff that I've got. Gosh. Oh, okay. All right. By my knee, believers constant chatter about the honeycomb he found. Fila, little face, serious, tongue stuck out as she draws in the earth with a stick. Hermia catches the boy up in her arms and flashes me a tired smile. I too am tired, but I am grateful for this day. Okay. It's a memory, I think. Useful, maybe? It is time. I hold her down, stroking her neck. She is oblivious, nuzzling at me. I thank her for her company, for her comfort, for her nourishment. I cut her throat swiftly. She complains, but it does not take long. I catch the blood in a clay pot. She will save us this winter. So they're doing sacrifices to something for- Baby, what do you want? Oh good gosh. Well, yeah, it looks like it's one match per torch for this entire thing. Oh, yeah, baby, what do you need? She promised aid within these walls, she said. Okay. Well, that's not very useful information right now, now, is it? Is there anything else in this room? looking in any of these places, honestly. Uh, gosh. It's dark and awful, and I hate it. It's not actually that dark, and yet Tassie is getting super scared and whatnot. Okay. Uh, is this useful? What is this? human nervous system it looks like interesting why are they studying the nervous system don't throw things tassie you're going to wake up a monster and in which case i will need to severely kill you because that's not a good thing oh another note oh and nerves Slash sinews, slash connections, I'm not sure. Okay, I got a screwdriver. I don't even think this is a screwdriver. This is like a surgical needle. Here, this is the place I can help you. Oh, Vijay is life against sickness. What do I have to do? Create Vijay. Sit. Be here. You don't sound very healthy. The energy that powered the portal. Right, because that was so easy to find last time. I appreciate your sarcasm, Tassie. Thank you for the lovely oh, drawing. There must be a way to make it here. She wouldn't have said it. Oh, lovely. More long corridors that lead into nothing. It's my favorite thing to find, don't you know? I love that kind of stuff. Hible. Is there anything useful in here? It doesn't look like it. Just a whole bunch of things that look like oil to get my hopes up, and then they give me absolutely nothing. Hip, this hip, do. Dead. Needs energy to bring it to life, I think. Really? I'm just gonna sit here for a while because this, this is comfortable. Have I missed something? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I probably.
probably missed something, considering that I didn't even try to get any VT. Okay. What do we got? We have a door. A door with brightness beyond it, which makes me think that it's a good door, maybe? There's no power still. It doesn't look like there's anything else in this area. We'll pop one of those bad boys, and we'll head on in, I guess. Oh, another memory thing. I lie amongst rustling grass, up on the hillside above the bay. It is the day after the rain. I can smell the green on the breeze. The skies are blue now, with only wisps of cloud. The bell of the white goat clanks nearby as she rips and chews at leaves. I close my eyes and listen to the world. So is that what the world used to be like here? It sounds Just really nice. stay calm, my love. Stay with me. All will be well. You don't know that. We have no clue what lives here. Okay. Under the sign of Olan, on the eighth rise, at the third calling, I, Kami, make this record. There is a fault on the sh third shuttle rail. I have diverted stock to Factory 5 while this is investigated. As a result, Portal Station Rakiosta reports unsanitary stock buildup and requests additional staff with Ankari stones to control the harvesters. I have forwarded the message to allocations. So recorded in her eternal name. Interesting. So, I think that the ghouls uh, from back on Earth, I don't even know if, like, is this a different dimension or a different planet? Because I have no clue. But uh, from what I remember, I think that they said that ghouls are also known as harvesters, I think. Five bodies. Control the railways? So they're controlling it with Vitae, then. They control the rails. Interesting. But I think that they called the ghouls harvesters, so... Are they trying to control the ghouls? If so, that doesn't seem to be working very well for them anymore. The wind howls, but I am warm. Cocooned under the blanket by the fire. Her head rests on my shoulder, and I listen as her words flow. Plans, hopes, dreams, fantasies. Everything that we know is impossible. But I know that it doesn't matter, for we will be together, and that is everything. Okay. A lot of these uh, sayings, a lot of these memories, they sound as if they are from Earth. Talking about being under the blue sky, wisps of cloud, goat chewing on grass and whatnot. It sounds human. So how close are these people to human? Okay, so there's one route. That one. This red one. The person in it probably isn't being tortured enough. Lovely. Well, if we've learned something from Daniel, we need to paint the man. Cut some lines. Okay, what have we got? More lore? Lovely. Under the sign of Olan on the eighth rise at the second calling, ITOT make this record. I wish that everyone could start letters this way. The Vitae flow has reached equilibrium across the network as a result of the adjustment to Factory 6. This is in line with recent calculations, and indicates that we will indeed have more than sufficient flow to sustain the Empress and meet the demands of the populace until the new factories are connected 100 rises from now. So recorded in her eternal name. So I'm thinking that in her eternal name they're referring to the mother who was kept alive with Vitae, but now that the Vitae isn't working in this world as well as it used to, no clue what that is. Since the Vitae isn't working as well as it used to, and most of it's offline, my thought is that that is why she's sounding sickly and old. Because she's not going to be alive for much longer. Gosh. What the heck? 
Ah, where's my door? There's my door. No, that's not my door. This is my door. This is a very large... Okay, I'm guessing that that's where the Vitae is coming from. Thank you for your sacrifice, sir. Under the sign of Olan on the eighth rise, at the fourth calling, Ayatharu make this record. Oh, the memory view process has undergone refinement by Sugar. Short bursts of memory are optimal. Recombined with a new elixir, the memory cycle now reaches full application at no longer than 57 Idar. Our goal is now to reduce the cycle of pain to improve the public perception of the process, Tamaku has ordered it. And so it must be. So recorded in her eternal name. Awesome. I guess. There's a tiny portal thing. Again. Uh. What have you got to say, baby? What do you think? Dream. Dream of Paris, of sunlight on cobblestones and beautiful trees. Dream. And it will all be better. Okay, you are being surprisingly optimistic about this, Tassi. I don't know if you should be this optimistic about it. Oh, at least that's the room that I came from. First time I have seen him in a week, and it is as if ten years have bent his spine, sapping the flesh and the color from his cheeks. His eyes are red rimmed. They will not meet mine. Fear grips my heart and starts to squeeze. Son, he says, she is with the gods now. You killed your own wife, it seems. Lovely. Wonderful. Ah, <gasps> oh, no. I can't pick up the, the oil. I can't pick up the big boy. No. Okay, there's lots of reading, so please bear with me. Subject 1144SV. Initial extraction indicates worker class. No immediate family, but a strong connection to a single individual. Average potential yield. Focus further extraction on con or on contacts with that individual. Ignore all pre-adult memories, as no familial connections uh, typically indicate no positive material to use. Subject 1145 SV. Initial extraction indicates... Yeah, indicates worker class with familial structure consisting of a partner and two offspring at the time of capture. High potential yield per protocol. Focus further extraction on early contact with partner and formative years of offspring. In addition, typical strong memories relate to capture location and parental connection. Okay. Subject 1143 SV. Initial extraction indicates subservient class. No immediate family, low potential reeled. Focus further extraction on earliest memories but also consider discard. This is weird stuff. So with Vitae, I'm thinking that it works off positive memories, possibly. Which is curious. Did I already do this one? Sprinting across the sand, no. leaving sinking footprints, <laughs> splashing into the froth of a wave, laughing at the spray, pressing oyster shells into the beach, making patterns in the sand. He flings his arms around my knees, looks up at me and grins, gap toothed Papa, he says, come and see. So the tablets are definitely of whatever residents lived in this place. However, it seems as if these things are memories, not memories of the people here, 
but memories of people on Earth. Which is really interesting. What is this? Oh, look at them. I wonder who they were. I need to tell you about Alice, little girl. She was your sister for a while in our little rooms in Paris. Okay. It was just the three of us. She loved stories. And she loved to play in the park. And she... She's with your father now. And you're with me. Oh, and... Uh, <laughs> there was Maka. Alice's toy monkey. I've got him. I've got him here. I'm sure she'd love him to be yours. Alright, thank you. I'm gonna quickly boop one of those. I know it's a bit of a waste, but I appreciate having more oil than less. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, frick. Ah, heck, what happened? Oh, gosh. What the heck was that? Okay, uh, we're full on oil, mostly full on matches. There's a light moving around. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what do you want, baby? We're not safe. My concern is that I know literally nothing about this monster. That's my big concern.
it's all the way over there. Stay nice and far away. And now let's run. Awesome. Oh. Holy crap. Heck. No, no. Open. Open. Let it back in. Thank you. Okay. I don't want to be in there ever again. The door is successfully closed. Oh, I hated that thing. Oh, I don't know if that was quite as bad as a ghoul. Is it gone? It sounds like it's gone. Holy heck. Okay. That was stressful. I have no clue what that thing is. It seemed to have a light, which is not very good. Ugh. It's nice knowing that I can get away from things in the dark, but now I don't have the comfort of the dark because that thing can see me no matter where I am. So, yeah, before I go and pull this lever, I'm going to end the episode here because I am out of time. So, yeah, uh, it's interesting. So they seem to be taking humans, abducting humans. Uh, the better the memories they have, the more they can torture them, it seems. The more they're worth. And so that's how they're getting their Vitae. And that is how they're powering this station of sorts, this transport station. And we need to use this transport station to get over there to that rift that will hopefully take us back to Earth. So, yeah, a lot of weird alien stuff this episode. A little bit of danger chalked in there, but nothing too bad so far. So, yeah. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it, and feel free to subscribe so that you don't miss what's happening next. And in the next episode, we're hopefully going to be able to get up to that rift. But we'll see what stands in our way in the next episode. So see you then.